Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fiza Ahmed. I am student of BBS first year. So today our topic is the ventricular system of the brain. This is the complete whole sketch which shows the how the ventricles are located within our brain. There are total four ventricles, namely the fourth ventricle, the third ventricle, and the two lateral ventricles. The fourth ventricle is present posterior to the pons and the superior part of the medulla oblongata and anterior to the cerebellum and there is the presence of the two foramen in the fourth ventricle which are foramen lishka and the foramen midendi. The fourth ventricle is connected to the th third ventricle through cerebral aqueduct and the third ventricle is connected to the lateral ventricle through the foramen monroe or the intraventricular foramen. So now let's move toward this explanation of the fourth ventricle. There are four boundaries of the fourth ventricle, the floor, the lateral wall and the roof. The lateral wall of the fourth ventricle is formed by the three peduncles of the cerebellum. As I explained you earlier that this ventricle present anterior to the cerebellum and there are total three peduncles of the cerebellum. So these three peduncles contribute in the formation of these two lateral walls of the ventricle. The roof of the fourth ventricle is also formed by the superior cerebellar peduncle and the inferior cerebellar peduncle. The superior part of the roof of the fourth ventricle is formed by the superior cerebellar peduncle and the connecting sheet of the white matter which connect these two peduncles and form the superior medullary vellum. And the inferior portion of the roof is formed by the inferior cerebellar peduncle and the connecting sheet of the pia matter which connect these two peduncles and form the inferior medullary vellum. The inferior portion of the roof of the ventricle is pierced by the two apertures. The first is the median aperture known as the foramen megandi and the two lateral apertures known as the foramen of the lashka. The function of the two ventricles are common is to permit the transfer of the CSF from the fourth ventricle to the subarachnoid space. Now let's move toward the floor of the fourth ventricle. The floor of the fourth ventricle is posterior to the pons and the medulla oblongata and anterior to the cerebellum. The floor of the fourth ventricle is divided into two equal halves by a median aperture known as the median sulcus. Lateral to the median sulcus is a slight elevation known as the median eminence and further lateral to the medial eminence is the sulcus limitans and as we go lateral to the sulcus limitans is the presence of the vestibular area where the vestibular nucleus is present. At the inferior portion of the medial eminence is the facial colliculus which is formed by the facial nerve as it curved around the abducens nucleus. Here some nerve fibers emerge from this median sulcus and go toward the inferior cerebellar peduncle to enter the cerebellum. These nerve fibers are known as the stria medullaris. Inferior to stria medullaris is the presence of some structures which are the hypoglossal triangle where the hypoglossal nucleus is present. Lateral to the hypoglossal triangle is the vagal triangle where the motor nucleus of vagus nerve is present and between the vagal triangle and lateral wall of the ventricle is the area prostrima which is rostrally continued with the central canal. Here we are done with our the fourth ventricle.